Okay, we're going to start things off by putting the uh, main valve body separating plate on. Uh, I initially thought the separating plate was uh, overheated, but upon receiving the new one, the new one has the same sort of heat marks that I thought were bad, so uh, I ended up just keeping the new one anyway. Uh, okay, so we're going to put the pump gears in. That chamfered side goes facing down towards the separator plate. And we're going to put the little shaft in there. Now we're going to put the main valve body on. I'm spinning the gears, make sure they're not bound up. Uh, now we're just going to loosely thread in... Um, the bolts, just run them down by hand, and uh, we're going to tighten them later. There are five of them. Uh, now I'm inserting the eight check balls, and there's a little oil deflector I insert at the end. Now, um, it's going to show me inserting the oil deflector with the little shaft facing up, but that if you put it in like that, <clears throat> you can't put the little separator plate on, so uh, for the oil deflector, that little shaft has to be facing down. So here's a little oil deflector. It actually goes in the opposite direction. So we're going to put in the dowel pin. Separator plate on. There's actually two dowel pins there. I put it... Uh, I put the other one on a little later. Uh, this is the secondary valve body. And we're going to insert the manual valve and the little shaft here with the rooster comb on it that you use to shift gears. Attach it to it. And we got this little, little detent lever. And then on that we have the spring that attaches, uh, oh before the spring I guess I'm going to put the separator plate on. There. Okay so now we're going to take the spring, stretch it, and put it onto this detent lever. There we go. We're just going to test it. There we go. Uh, I, right there I just pointed to the other dowel pin I mentioned earlier. We're going to put on the accumulator body. And now we're going to torque all these bolts to, um, I believe it's 8.7 foot-pounds. All, the, all of these tens are 8.7. In fact, all the tens on the entire transmission inside and out are 8.7 foot-pounds. I'm also torquing down the main valve body bolts and we're going to test to see if this shaft or the pump goes up and down smoothly and that it spins smoothly. If it does not, you have to disassemble everything and make sure because it cannot be bound up. So now we're going to install the stator support uh, with the little stopping bar goes through it. And now we're going to install the bolts for the secondary valve body. One of the bolts has a little um, bracket on it. These are again the same torque specs as the other ones. We do saw this valve body. There's only one bolt. <coughs> we have these two sort of vertical valves with the springs in them. Work down the bolt, <clears throat> then install the regular valve body. And you, you see that there's a sort of a feed pipe right there. That feed pipe does not go there. I sort of just put it there as a placeholder in the beginning and kind of forgot about it. So there is a feed pipe there for the CRV though, however. This but this is the Civic, so that's not really used. Now we're gonna install the filter and the little detent base with the two tens. Torque them down. Ok, 
Okay, so we, I'm going to install the main bearing now. I just held one side of the snap ring down with a pair of vice grips, held the other part of the snap ring up with a screwdriver, and then hit it until it snaps into place. We insert the differential assembly. Now we're going to insert the reverse idler gear. It's going to fish it up through the bottom of this of the case. And then put the needle bearing in it. And the little uh, support. Uh, when you're putting the two case halves together, make sure that that gear meshes with the gear on the shafts. So now we're inserting the shafts now, the counter and main shaft <coughs> as an assembly. There we go. And see I just pointed to that chamfered hole. That chamfered hole has to face backwards in that direction or else um, you won't have any reverse. And the, the reason it's like that is because the bolt is um, um, has a, what do you want to call it? A spot with no threads on it <coughs> so it has to go through that chamfered side so don't put that shaft in backwards and then we're gonna bend the tabs so the bolt doesn't spin out um, gonna put the sleeve the needle bearing and the gear on there we go now we're gonna put the case gasket on And I just moved the manual valve into a spot that will go through this top part of the case. So we're going to put it on. And again, make sure that top gear is meshed or else it won't go down all the way. See, it'll stop right there and then you have to mesh it. <coughs> um, <coughs> I didn't show it, but I just threaded all the case bolts in by hand. Just uh, ran them all down by hand. We're going to torque them later. So this is the uh, little lever for the shaft that you shift gears with turn the bolt and then we're gonna press down the tabs so it doesn't <clears throat> spin out gonna put the sleeve needle uh, needle bearing and uh, sprag assembly on and that washer is directional make sure it goes on the right way it's a comical washer gonna push down the gear and we're gonna insert the parking paw one side of the spring goes into the paw and the other side goes into that little hole. See, I'm sort of pushing it into a hole. So just put it through. There we go. And then we have the little shaft to stop it right there. Now we're going to shift it into park. Make sure that it engages correctly and nicely. Now we're going to install the collar here. And then the that's the first gear collar, this is the first gear clutch hub. And uh, this washer has a little U for up, it's directional, it's a conical washer, it has to go in the right direction. These are reverse threaded nuts, they, you thread them on to the left. So now I'm just going to tighten all the case bolts in the proper sequence. Uh, the torque specs were 33 foot-pounds for each of them and just went back and forth in the right sequence. Now after this, after I tighten these, I have to tighten those two lock nuts on the top of the, each shaft. And I kind of had a hard time doing that. You needed a special tool to do it. Um, the counter shaft is easy because you, you can just install the parking paw and it won't spin when you turn it. But the main shaft, I kind of had to use a pry bar to hold it still. And I think I just barely got it. See, you'll see me doing it now. Like it was really tough. So um, it specifically says not to use an impact. So I didn't really didn't want to do that. Um, so it'd be good if you can get the special tool. This is the counter shaft. Like I said, it's easier in the sense that it doesn't spin, but it has a much higher torque, and it's really difficult to turn it without having the case turn. Anyway, after you're done, just punch the little tab in the nut to hold it in place so it doesn't spin off. 
And don't use a screwdriver or else it'll... Like, use a punch, because the screwdriver actually, like... It will actually break the nut. It won't, like, punch it in like a dent. So, right there, I installed the little bracket. Now, now we're going to install all the little the solenoids and speed sensors around the whole thing. Um, pretty straightforward, you know. That's the speed sensor. Uh, this is the linear solenoid. Careful with this guy. This guy is expensive. I think it's around $200 for a new one, at least from Honda. Still putting the various speed sensors in, solenoid packs. Now we're gonna put this top case gasket on. And then the top part. This is feed pipes in each one. Gently tap it into place. Uh, now we're gonna tighten these bolts. These are 8.7 foot pounds because they're tens. Um, there's no specific sequence for these, so just tighten them down. And now we have uh, this little speed sensor here. I forget which one this is actually for. <clears throat> tighten it down, put the dipstick in, and finally we're going to install the cooling lines, and then that is going to be it. We are done. Thanks for watching.